Hi guys, Sarah and Celia here. Today I'm going to be showing you my secretary desk. Um, I mentioned this months ago, but um, I organized it. I've been using it for a few months. I really like it. And basically what the purpose of this secretary desk is, it's like a little mini office in our living room. Um, she's wondering who am I talking to? Um, and I, we have an office, but we don't really use it. It's more of just like a dumping ground right now. Um, so this is more of like where I can sit down at the computer, pay bills, um, plan my week, keep <laughs> papers that are kind of like, you know, mail and stuff like that, and bills and all that kind of stuff, and have like post-its in an easy place that I can get to at any time. Um, so let's go ahead and see what I've done in here. Okay, so this is what the secretary desk looks like when you open it up. It has this hutch above and then it has the actual desk part that folds down so you can sit and like write or have your laptop here. And this is an Ikea uh, set. There's two different pieces, like I said, the hutch and then the desk. They don't sell this particular one anymore, but I think there's a Hemi's one that's very similar. I actually got this on Craigslist a few years ago. Um, for like a hundred bucks, which was a great deal. I love getting Ikea stuff from Craigslist because then it's even cheaper and I already kind of know how to use it because there's so much Ikea inspiration online. Um, but basically I'll just walk you through from um, top to bottom so you can kind of see what I have going on in here. So the very top are things that I don't use as much. I'm pretty short so it's harder to reach up. Um, but I have like books that I read and my Bible study Bible. I'm trying to get more into reading the Bible every morning because um, I'm reading this book, The Miracle Morning, and it's all about, you know, having your most important things that you should be doing every day. You do that at the start of the day. So I have like um, my Bible reading, binder, Bibles, devotionals, a couple books, some daycare stuff. And then over here I have bins for things I commonly use, like in here. I have screwdriver and some knives and some razor blades up high so that kids can't get into it. Celie's playing, so sorry about her little noises. Up here I have external hard drives for backing up photos and files. In here I have my label maker and um, cartridges. And then in here I have camera stuff like um, SD cards, chargers, that kind of thing. Um, and my small YouTube cameras are in there. On this shelf, we keep my husband's laptop. He doesn't use it as much. Mine kind of floats around the house, um, but I can also keep it in here for having company over and I don't want it out. I have a three hole punch. I use this all the time. It also, um, you can adjust it. So I have this here because it's an office product I use weekly. Up here, I have this little storage container bin thing I got at TJ Maxx years and years ago, probably like seven years ago. And I keep all my washi tape and labels and like cute clothes pins and different tabs or clothes, uh, not clothes pins, uh, paper clips and you know just little crafty stuff that I use for planning and that kind of thing I keep in here. It's a great size and it fits right here nicely. On this shelf I keep, um, I, I announced in my last video, our house tour video, which I'll put the link below that I am starting a daycare so um, we will be doing like preschool activities and stuff like that as well so I have all that kind of stuff here so that I can easily reference it when planning activities and things like that um, and then I have business cards here and then this is like our little paper organization center I guess you could say so I have this three bin um, like file folder um, container and it has a two file folder so when I have a thing I get in the mail or something that I want to file or when I have a receipt and I've like put on there what things need to go um, into what folders or whatever like I, I mark it what percentage of that will be business expense I'll put it in the two file folder and then once a week I put it in our file cabinet which is in our office the second one is bills, so whenever a bill comes in the mail, I put it in here, and then once a week I get the bills out and I pay them for whatever is due that week. And then in this one I keep coupons and things like that that come in the mail, or like takeout menus, stuff like that, so I can easily find them. And then I have this little paper sorter here, I have a page a day calendar, so I keep them all because they're super cute, and that's what I've used to decorate the sides as well, they're little quotes made by different artists. 
um, and I just keep all of them here because I want to do some kind of craft with them eventually. And then we keep all our receipts now that I'm a business owner with daycare. You keep like everything because so much stuff can be written off. So we keep all our receipts here and then I go through them once a month and tally like what um, what on the receipt is a business expense. And then once I do that, I put in the to file. Over on this side, we have our envelope system envelopes. Um, follow Dave Ramsey. We haven't been doing that too much. We're trying to figure out how to do our expenses now with the daycare. But those are here. I got these on an Etsy shop. I love them. And then I have um, envelopes, stamps, little greeting cards, like if I want to send a thank you out or something like that. And then um, checks. And then in the bottom part, um, this is what I use to like sit down and actually do stuff. So I have a little light I got at, I think Menards or Walmart for like three bucks or something. I have a outlet surge protector power strip thing. Um, plug my laptop in and other things like if I'm charging batteries for the camera. I have a little mug. This is what we always use to hold pencils and scissors and stuff like that. We always just use a mug because it's convenient. I have some lotion, a flashlight. And then in this little organizer, I made these boxes. I've probably seen them on a different video. I'm sure they've come up before. I made these with greeting cards years, like probably like 15 years ago with my grandma. And they're so cute and they hold, um, this one holds, oops, packs. I'll make sure to pick that up. And then paper clips. And they're just so cute and I've used them for so long. And then a stapler. Up here I have, um, I used actually like oatmeal boxes. I just cut them and use them as a little divider in here so I have like teacher pens and highlighters and my love pens they're different colored skinny pens um, and here I have like decorative paper clips a staple remover a little calculator some tape some um, white out strip stuff that kind of thing I have in this one I have sharpies dry erase markers and some colored pens and then I have a whole bunch of different size post-its. Um, kind of post-it crazy in this house. Um, and then over here you can just see stuff that I use on like a daily basis. I actually just made this faux dory based on the mud dory traveler's notebook. And I'll probably do a video on that. It turned out so cute and it's very inexpensive and easy to do. I'll be using that as like a catch-all notebook for lists and ideas and stuff. So it's all in one place. I have my file of facts. I did mention before in the Day in the Life vlog that um, I would be switching to the Simplified Planner by Emily Lay, and I did switch, but I actually went back to my file of facts. I've been in this for two years now. I love it. Um, I might do a video, update a video on how I'm using it, but I'm not like, I'm not as interesting with it as some people are decorating and stuff. I just really jot down notes really quickly, but it works for me. I have this Erin Condren teacher planner that I'll be using for the daycare, so I've been doing a lot of stuff in that. And I'll probably end up doing a video on that probably next year once I'm really into the daycare and doing it on a daily basis. And then um, my current book that I'm reading. So this is just a little idea if you have like a little nook in your house. Um, I just have never been good at actually using an office consistently because I don't want to go sit away from my family. I'd rather be around the action and with a baby like it's much easier to have her playing in the living room and me sitting here and doing stuff so um, it's worked out really well I'm glad I got to kind of live in it for a while before I posted um, and then on the sides the doors I actually just decorated them with some washi tape with some of those calendar little quotes with ones I liked I have a little remember section so right now it has um, bucket list for autumn and Christmas and winter that things we want to do now that we're a family of three and then video ideas and then over here I just keep a notepad I attach with some com command strips and so whenever we need like a quick um, piece of paper to jot down a note we have it so yeah that is my secretary desk tour if you liked something in particular you saw please leave a comment if you have an idea or um, maybe you have a secretary desk or a little nook that you do something different, please leave it in the comments below. I would love for us to all share our ideas. I am so excited to be back on YouTube. Thank you guys for sticking with me through our hiatus. I missed you all and I really appreciated all your cute messages of like, are you okay and everything. I'm doing great. I'm so excited to be back and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.